I got home to a very exciting package waiting on my doorstep. As soon as that person died, I was hooked. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised anymore. A lot of twists and turns and a lot of creepy moments before you found out what actually was going on. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to a new reading vlog. Today it's Tuesday. It's around like 11.30. I slept in today because this is my last morning before I start work, I go back to work today after four weeks off. I have an evening shift so I start at two so I don't have a lot of time this morning but you know what sucked today? So I've been having four weeks off and sure I've been traveling a bit so I haven't been all the time here but 80% of the time I've been waking up here in my bed and every morning all I have ever wanted was it to be raining, you know, to wake up for it to be pouring down and just like snuggle in bed. That never happened. Today the first day back to work, I wake up and it's pouring and all I want to do is lay in bed all day, but I can't. That pissed me off. <laughs> like four weeks and not a single like rainy cozy morning and now like the first day back to work, now you have that. Great. I'm happy it's raining because it's really necessary. It's been so dry here. But yeah, I go back to work today. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm a huge routine person. I thrive in a routine. So like it's going to be good for that. It just, it sucks to just like the first before you get started again before you get into that routine again four weeks is a long time to have off so but yeah i'm not gonna have a lot of time to read now before work but i have decided on the book that i want to pick up and that's gonna be my heart is a chainsaw by stephen graham jones this i hauled in my book haul that i recently uploaded and i've heard so many great things about it i looked it up on goodreads just now and people are raving about this. Even one girl, she wrote that it was her top three books that she read this year. And someone said like, it's brilliant, it's unforgettable. <laughs> so, <laughs> but still I'm trying to like lower my expectations so I don't get disappointed. You know, I don't really know what it's about. I just know that people loved it. So I'm trying to just like go in with that, not really knowing too much. But I'm assuming it's a thriller. I don't think it's a horror, maybe horror thriller book. I'm not sure. But um, I'm excited to start it and maybe I will just like be able to read a couple of pages before I need to head out. I also just want to sit here, watch some booktube and relax trying to prepare mentally, you know? So we'll see how much reading I actually get done. But this is the book that I want to read and want to start for this week. Okay, the clock is about one, so I soon have to head out, but I've been reading a little bit in this one. I've gotten up to page 49, so not a whole lot, but a little. And the first chapter, we had these two in their 20s, one girl and one guy, Sven and Lotte, I think, from the Netherlands, who was visiting the States and, you know, for a grand adventure and something happened to them. They got killed, I assume, and then the next chapter you jump and follow this girl named Jade who is a high school senior and she knows everything there is to know about slasher films. She's like the queen of horror films. She knows everything and everyone about that and she's kind of struggling. I don't know, she has a complicated family situation. She comes up as she doesn't really have any friends, kind of like a loner and she recently tried to take her own life so she's not feeling very well. And basically that's where I'm at. I've just been like introduced to her and gotten to know about her family situations and how she's not feeling great. And one day at school, this new girl comes in and Jade is like determined that she is the final girl. You know, sweet, innocent, pure. And I don't know if this is going to be a book where like her world is turning into a slasher film. It might That might happen because as for now, like we have gotten to know her and her love for, for these films and it's kind of like she sees her life as a slasher film, you know what I mean? She compares everything to a slasher film, all the people in her life and the situations and when she sees this new girl come up she's like determined that she's gonna be this final girl. 
but that's basically where I'm at so I've just kind of gotten to know her and introduced to her and all her thoughts and feelings which is a ton so yeah but it's it's cool I'm enjoying it so far I like the vibes I do like the writing definitely so yeah but now I'm gonna have to get ready and head to work first day back in four weeks wish me luck okay it's quite late it's like one o'clock at night and I'm in bed reading it's fine though because I have an evening shift tomorrow or today I guess as well so I don't have to be up early but yeah the first shift back went fine I was just I'm just feeling very anxious before but I always do that so it's it's fine but I wanted to talk a little bit about this book I'm reading a bit now but I'm getting tired so I'm gonna sleep but I feel like it gave a very vague description before I don't know if because I was anxious and had my mind on work I feel like it just didn't give a good explanation but we had this opening chapter as I mentioned where these two teens or young adults from the Netherlands died and I don't think I mentioned that the death was very mysterious and they were probably murdered I don't think I mentioned that it was very mysterious and they actually filmed it on their phone and this phone was found in a canoe that I believe belonged to this girl Jade that we're now following so she gets the phone and discovers this video where she sees these two people disappear and get killed and also I mentioned Yate Jade, this character that we're following, that she is the biggest horror slash or film nerd ever. She loves that shit. And, and I know I mentioned that she's been having some troubles at home and she's, you know, not feeling great. But I don't know if she wants her life to be like a slasher movie, so she's just kind of, it's a coping mechanism that she just wishes her life was like a slasher movie. I mean, I don't know who would want that, but if it's just in her head that she sees everything in her life like that or if it's actually gonna happen I don't know because <clears throat> so far we kind of you know nothing's really happened it's just in her head and like how she sees things and she wants things to happen so I'm not sure if it's gonna be a thing where she just imagines it as a coping mechanism thing to go through life because of her love for these movies or if it's actually gonna happen I don't know if I mentioned that but I just wanted to make that clear that I'm not sure what in what turn it's taking, but yeah, just basically wanted to clear that out because I don't feel like I did. I don't know. I haven't watched the footage back, but I feel like I gave a very weird description. But yeah, I haven't read much. I just read like two chapters and I kind of feel like I need to sleep now. So, but I just wanted to clear some things up. It is the next day, Wednesday, and it's around almost one o'clock and I have the same shift today. I start at 2 so I soon have to head out but I've just been having a chill morning reading and relaxing. I've gone up to page 134 in this one and I am quite enjoying it. It's just that I mentioned the writing style. I liked it and I do like it but it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a unique writing style. It's somewhat of a different writing style than I'm used to and I'm, sometimes I'm having trouble to understand what's going on and I don't know if that's the actual writing style or just like my head being somewhere else I'm not really sure but I am enjoying it but again I'm up to page 134 and nothing has really happened except like that opening chapter of these two people dying I just nothing is really happening maybe it's a slow paced book but it's a horror I, I assume and I just kind of would want something more to happen and basically we just follow jade and her thoughts and feelings which is a lot as i mentioned but nothing really happening it's a relatively big book so i'm just hoping something will happen soon because i'm experiencing some boredom while reading it which i don't want to experience but yeah unfortunately i'm not going to be able to read more today because i'm heading to work and i have to be right when i get home tonight i have to sleep because I have an early shift tomorrow so I need to be up early but yeah so a little bit of mixed feelings right now I'm just hoping that things will get a turn and something will happen because I'm just experiencing that I'm getting bored I don't know it is the next day and I just got home from work or like an hour ago I got home around four it's now around five and I've just gone out of the shower and I'm just starting my dinner because I'm really hungry so I got that going and after my dinner i'm gonna sit down and have a reading night i'm very excited about it i actually did bring my book with me to work because i you know i'm in a big reading mood and i'm 
thoroughly enjoying it and I just really feel like I need to read more. And I managed to read one chapter on my break. To be fair, the chapters are very long. That's actually one thing that I wanted to mention that is a con for me. If you know me and if you follow me for a while, like you know that I hate long chapters. It just makes it harder for me to read and it takes longer to get through it and I just get bored. I don't know, it could be amazing, but still if the chapter is too long, I'm just gonna, ugh, I hate it. So, I, and I only have like a 30 minute break. So I wanted to sit a little bit on my phone to just like watch TikTok and then I read one chapter. But yeah, I plan to read a lot more tonight. Hopefully I'll get some more into it because I would love to finish it this week. That would be great. But I also came on here to mention that I'm gonna start another book today and that's gonna be Layla by Colin Hoover. This I purchased recently and I have this in my book haul that I posted last week, I think. And I know it's a popular one by her. I don't know too much about it, but I'm excited to read it. I've been loving to have like one horror slash thriller book to read and then one romance or contemporary i just love the mix of that so i think that's gonna be perfect to have like one a little bit lighter or it's colin hoover so it's gonna be emotional probably maybe i'm not gonna say the word light but a little bit lighter story than like a dark thriller or horror but i love that combination so i think it's gonna be perfect so i'm just gonna eat some dinner once that's ready and then i will spend the night reading and while i eat my dinner i'm probably just gonna watch the new Rossville new mexico episode I started it last night, but then I fall asleep, so I have that to watch, or just like booktube, I don't know. But also, can we talk about the fact that how much I hated on the new PLL Original Sins, like the new remake of PLL, the, on my other reading blog that I did? I think I talked about it and I was like, I watched it because of, you know, Bailey Madison, I like her, and because I did like the PLL original version, and then I was like, it's not good. Let me tell you, I've changed my mind. I've now completed all the episodes that's on HBO. I think it's like 10 episodes, which I think includes season one. I think it's like done. And uh, let me tell you, as soon as a certain someone died, no spoilers, but you know who I'm talking about. As soon as that person died, I was hooked and it just got a lot better. And honestly, I think I just compared it a lot to the original one, which you, I don't think you should do because this is like on a different level. This is like completely different from the PLL original one, in my opinion, because Pretty Liars for me was 90% drama of these teen girls and 10% was like creepy killing stuff. While this new original Sin version has like 80% is like slasher, horror, murder, killing stuff and 20% is like drama. I just, it, it's a totally different level and I do like it. I do like, it's definitely more horror and creepy, definitely has more gruesome, disgusting, raw stuff in my opinion. We do have some like serious topics and you know, dealing with teen stuff absolutely, but not the same way and just, it's, I think it's like done better in a way and it doesn't feel as ridiculous. And also, such a big difference is how the moms are involved. If you have seen the original version, the mom was like cl clueless. How many seasons were there? Like six seasons and the mothers were clueless, but here it's like they're in it together. It's so weird, but I'm kind of here for it. So honestly, I've changed my mind and I really like it. So if you are a fan of like horror stuff, but like it's darker than the original one, definitely darker. I would actually recommend it because I've been enjoying it and I'm hoping that there's going to be a new season. It is finally Friday and I just got home from work and I'm off this weekend so it's like a Friday Friday. Very excited about it. And I've had a really good day at work. I got off at 3. That was really nice. It's just about 4 now. I've just gone out of the shower and I got home to a very exciting package waiting on my doorstep. I saw on Instagram this girl posted that I'm following. She also lives in Sweden and like posts about books and talks about books and she posted a story where she had like three Bath and Body Works candles. And I was like, hold up, hold up. No, she actually wrote in what store she bought them. So I didn't even have to ask her. And I was like, bless you. Because you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea how, like you have not been able to get Bath and Body Works candles where I live, like in Sweden. It doesn't, doesn't ship to Sweden. Any sites doesn't have it. You guys. And I don't know if there's like in bigger cities, but like not where I live, never seen them and I've never been able to buy them 
online either never like believe me i've tried and it's not only like now what only booktube that like my candle obsession comes from i'm talking back of like the tumblr area the bethany moda fall winter night routine where everyone had bath and body works candles everyone every influencer had them and like every inf influencer i ever watched like youtuber was american you know so like they would recommend stuff and show stuff that wasn't available here and that would suck i hated living here when i was younger now i'm very thankful to be living in this country for multiple reasons but i really grew up just wishing i was american wishing i lived in the states because of everything that happened there and they had so much fun stuff you know in my head at least based on what i was watching and stuff and of course we can get like cute nice candles here too but the thing with america is in comparison to a lot of countries i think but especially like scandinavia we are very simplistic minimalistic the style has always been that and i don't like that so i want the extravaganza cute stuff big stuff which like the states is pro at like they everything in the states is bigger and better and you know just more extravaganza here everything is very simplistic and minimalistic so of course i bought candles the same minute i saw her post i went on this website and clicked home some candles and i'm definitely gonna order more because i think they did have like some winter ones too but i bought a three fall candles and you guys like you have no idea how much this means like this is a big day guys this is a big day and if you are in sweden and you want to buy them i'm gonna link the website below because i want to be able to give you the joy that i am experiencing right now and like as soon as i opened the box it just smelled heavenly hmm so it's just it's something special about these candles as i've said like growing up people adore these candles and like i've never been able to get them but i kept seeing them everywhere like tumblr instagram youtube and i mean back in the day like when you were a kid when things start to influence you when you're really young i got three candles it was not easy to choose but i got three fall candles and they all smell heavily so i'm gonna show them to you guys first up we have pumpkin pecan waffles this beautiful beautiful candle and like it smells amazing of course and then we have sweet cinnamon pumpkin this is like the most beautiful one just look at this like it screams fall and it's just so so damn beautiful and it's like a big big candle you know what i mean like it's big it's gonna last a while i'm just i'm in love and finally we have pumpkin spice latte which also smells amazing they do smell similar like every three of them just like fall pumpkin but i love it i'm definitely gonna be using all of them this fall and i'm really excited about it so i'm so excited for all of these and it's a little bit too warm to actually like lit candles so it's gonna have to wait a little bit but i'm so excited for fall and as soon as it's september i'm gonna fall decorate i need to actually <laughs> i forgot about that i was like gonna say i was gonna sit on the couch and just sleep or like take a nap or whatever but i actually have to edit the reading vlog that's going up tonight because it's going up in two hours and I haven't even started editing yet and reading vlogs take a while to edit so I might just only like no it might take like one hour so I think it'll be good but hopefully I'll get it up by six o'clock but after that I might take a nap before I have a cozy reading night because it's been my first week back to work I'm definitely tired I haven't been used to all this running around not only like physically but mentally too and just like i'm not used to talking that much i'm not used to being kind to people <laughs> all day every day and it's just been a lot you know before you get used to it again so but i do have to edit the video i actually forgot about that luckily i remembered though that was fun but i have started layla as i mentioned yesterday that i was going to i've only read like two chapters but i'm enjoying it so far and it's only been two chapters and i'm hooked i think that's a pretty good start we have leads who's this guy who's in a band and he played at a wedding i think it was yeah and he hates being in this band he just he wants to write his own music and do his own thing but you know and this wedding is like coming to an end so people are leaving and the band is playing their final song and leads seeing this girl layla dancing alone out on the grass and as she's described she's kind of reminding me of a little bit <laughs> if you watch skins uk like what's her name cassie like, you know, dancing in her own little world. Like, a little bit weird, but cute, I guess. And he's like, oh, she's so beautiful. And, like, she's dancing, doesn't really care what people think. And she's just, like, living in her own mind, I guess. 
and you know she, he just thinks she's beautiful the most beautiful girl he's ever seen and so when the band is done playing he goes over to her and they start talking and like having a good time becoming friends and they like click so fast you know you just know it's gonna be an epic love story you know that's what i think so you have just like them meeting and like hooking up that's what you have she has no filter really is what he thinks and she's just i don't know she's just a little bit weird but like in a good way and so we have that like we followed them i only read two chapters but between the chapters there is this thing that's in the future and it's called like the interview so you have leads being questioned by the cops about Layla. so you're like shit okay something has happened but you, you just get glimpses because obviously like you have the interview chapter one the interview chapter two the interview chapter three so you jump back in time which i love because that makes you really curious about what the fuck like why is the cop questioning him about Leva, like what happened and then you jump back until like and find out how they met you know it's i love that and that's what we have here so i'm excited to read more tonight i have been reading a little bit in my heart is a chainsaw i did bring it to work and i read one chapter again at my break might even finish it tonight i don't have a lot left that would be nice but yeah i'm gonna go and edit my reading vlog and hopefully post it and I just finished editing I definitely didn't get it up on time reading books take so long to edit for me I don't know why just a lot but I am probably actually gonna sit down and try to read but I will probably fall asleep because I haven't napped yet and I usually do that after work so we'll see how much reading I get done before I fall asleep but after my nap I will definitely spend the night reading you know I can be up late it's the weekend and I'm off so it's gonna be nice it is a while later in the evening and I just wanted to come on here and say that I just sat down and finished My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones and I'm having mixed feelings about it. I feel like if you're into slasher movies, if you watch all the classic slasher horror films, which I actually got inspired to do, I really want to watch all the classic slasher films. I haven't. Just got to figure out like where to watch them, what streaming site, if they're on any streaming sites that I have. Because this girl, Jade, that we're following, in every chapter i'm not even kidding like almost every page almost every sentence she referenced people from slasher movies like ever like she compares to herself she compares everyone else like every everyone you meet in this book she compares to characters in classic slasher films since i haven't watched them i'm clueless about what she's talking about and i can't really understand you know if you have watched those movies those movies i feel like it's it's more fun and you're gonna understand what she's what she means by it a lot more than I could. Like every situation she's in, everything that's happening to her, she compares in reference to characters in slasher films or just like slasher films plots. And she men mentioned so many movies in here. If you have watched all those classic ones, I feel like you would like this better, but I haven't. So half the time I couldn't understand what she was talking about, honestly. But you know, we have this girl, Jade, that is struggling. She has a mother that's not there. She has a father that's abusive and t a town that kind of hates her or like doesn't want to know her, I guess. Like she's struggling and I feel like her love for horror slasher films is her escape. It's her escape, it's her one true love, and I think she kind of has that as a coping mechanism for everything bad that happens in her life, she can just escape into horror films or slasher films, which yeah, it's a weird coping mechanism, it's a weird thing, but it's her, it's her escape. And all of a sudden there is something happening in, happening in this town and, and she's like thinking about everything that can happen and oh, maybe this kind of like, she's plotting almost what's gonna happen, referencing to her horror movies and kind of like 
expecting things to happen based on movies she's seen and it's just a lot but and i and i did actually get bored towards the end it's around 400 pages and which is a fine length it's not that long but in this book i did get bored at it i think it could have been shorter towards the end i kind of just wanted it to be done which i know i say about a lot of books but honestly like it's a th it's a thing it's a thing you know and i really felt that through the ending here i feel like it's definitely more than horror slasher killing stuff it's definitely about this girl jade that's struggling in life and kind of her love for horror and how that all she wants is so to be loved and also like you know have a place in the world i don't really know i think it's deeper than a lot of people realize and it's deeper than i thought it would be i think that kind of makes it unique for a horror book and i did think that the writing style which i know i mentioned is unique i don't know maybe that's why i've had a hard time keeping up it, i had a hard time with this i haven't had a hard time with this like for any other horror book but this writing it was just something about it that i had a hard time keeping up sometimes yeah, if you're a fan of those classic slasher films i think you would enjoy it i did think it was a fun and good horror book but a little bit boring a bit too long and not the best one i've read but you know that's just me but it's getting quite late i'm actually gonna eat dinner i haven't done that yet <laughs> and for the rest of the night we'll see if i read some more in layla or if i'm just gonna put on something to watch a movie or whatever but yeah this is the book that i'm gonna be focusing on from now on It is the next day and I'm sorry but the bun is just like gonna have to stay for another day because I'm not a big fan of my hair. I'm so sick of my hair right now. It happens from time to time and I just don't even want to think about it. <laughs> yeah, it is the next day and I'm sitting on the couch reading Layla and I've gone up to page 80 and I wanted to talk about it. Okay, so I don't know how much I've said. I don't think I've said a lot but we have Layla and Leeds that meet up at night of her sister's wedding and they kind of fall in love kind of like instant love they really have this big big connection and practically think they're soulmates and leads post a picture of her on instagram and his ex gets jealous she's like a really not a nice girl not like he just instantly regrets it he knows that he shouldn't have done that because he's afraid about what might happen and he was right Leeds' ex-girlfriend comes to where they're staying and shoots both of them, I think. I think both of them. And they end up in the hospital and Layla almost dies. Then you jump a little to where she's fully recovered after many, many weeks. And she's changed, which is to be expected, of course. She's gonna have, you know, changed by that. It's a big thing. And Leeds is kind of thinking about how she's not the same anymore. You know, she used to be this no filters, really open, spontaneous, really just like not afraid of anything and really sure of herself. Now she's the exact opposite. She's having nightmares, night terrors, anxiety attacks, panic attacks. She's not happy at all anymore. So Leeds does the surprise trip for her to where they met at this bed and breakfast which is not longer a bed and breakfast it's abandoned or like not abandoned but not a bed and breakfast anymore so he rented the whole place for them to stay there for a while to hopefully like get her back on track and to like get the memories back of when they met and how they felt for each other and how happy that memory was but Layla is also struggling with memory loss she like important things important things like from their relationship she can just forget and she doesn't remember everything and lead can talk about something like hey do you remember that and how we and she just like doesn't remember it and it's kind of like she wants to hide that she doesn't remember it you know it's it's kind of eerie it's a little bit odd and also weird stuff because it's going on at this old bed and breakfast that they now have all to themselves so it's like a big building they have rented all for themselves one night leads is cooking soup for layla and he goes upstairs to comfort her, she's sad. And all of a sudden he, there's smoke everywhere and he runs downstairs again to the kitchen. And all of a sudden like there's things on the floor, the water is running, he didn't leave that running. And like there's soup everywhere, it's just odd. And another thing happened where he is writing music, he's still like into music and is writing songs on his computer. And all of a sudden the lid just like tch, closed on his fingers. So. He's kind of fucking terrified, but Layla doesn't know anything about it because he 
covers it up. He doesn't really want to worry her even more. But Leeds is definitely thinking that something is going on. Ghosts, maybe. But that's what I want to talk about. Like, I really expected this to be a romance. Maybe with a bit of emotional stuff. You know, it's Colin Hoover. But this is pure supernatural stuff. It's freaking eerie is what it is. And I did not expect that. I'm kind of liking the vibes. But it's just eerie. Both Layla is very odd and the place. And also in the middle of the night, Leeds wakes up to see Layla standing in the, like, in the mirror. Looking weirdly at herself. I'm like... Just like looking at details at herself like she's surprised like is this what I look like like it's just really eerie you know it's but I'm enjoying it but it is not what I thought okay it is quite late in the evening but I wanted to come on here and say that I finished Layla by Colleen Hoover and oh my gosh what a fucking wild ride this was let me tell you i mean it's colvin hoover so i shouldn't be surprised anymore because she has a tendency to really surprise you in her books i mean i kind of expected this to be light romance and it definitely wasn't that you have the romance between these two and they are literally soulmates but you have so many eerie and creepy spooky things going on that is going to take over the focus so the main thing i guess the main thing is romance if you look at it that way but let's just put it this way like there's a lot of obstacles for this couple <laughs> there's a lot of things that i could say but i don't want to spoil it i might actually do a separate video where i review this book with spoilers because i'm not going to be able to talk about it like i wanted to without having spoilers in it but i don't really want to do that here but as I mentioned, we had two timelines. So we have the chapters, you know, where we follow Leed and Layla living their life. And we know that Layla and Leeds got shot by Leeds ex. And what I didn't know until like later on in the book is that Leeds actually killed his ex then and there in self-defense. You didn't find out that in the beginning when it happened, you found out that later that the ex died. And you follow Leeds and Layla as they're trying to cope with this trauma and live their life. But as I mentioned, Layla changed after that night and Leeds is kind of falling out of love with her because she's completely different and she's not the same person anymore. And everything is happening, you found out in the end, like the last 30 pages, you got all the answers. Before that, it was like, you got this answer and that's like, okay, this is what's happening. And then you were like, no, wait, this is what's happening. And then the last 30 pages, you got the real answer to what actually happened and how that thing that happened was connected to the night of the shooting so it was like a lot of twists and turns and a lot of creepy moments before you found out what actually was going on it's like a really cool concept and a fun book i did enjoy it it obviously was really fast paced to read and besides all this creepy and weird shit you did have a really nice romance i mean they're really beautiful together and i did like the ending I did like the ending because you got the answers that you wanted but i did not like how the sister i'm not i can't say too much but i didn't like like how the sister thought of leads you know the sister thought very badly of leads because she thought that he was doing bad things to layla which it looked like because in this other timeline leads is holding layla captive against her own will but it's not really layla like it's hard to explain but the sister stopped trusting leads and thought that he was doing horrible things to her sister and you never got to resolve that i guess she wouldn't have believed them if they tried to explain the real situation to her but i mean it's like a big thing how are they gonna i mean they stay together right but like at every christmas at, at every thanksgiving at every you know if they're ever gonna get married and the sister's gonna be there how is that gonna work because the sister think leads is a kidnapper and a psychopath like how is that gonna work out so i just didn't like that the sister saw what she saw and came to a conclusion that wasn't true but i get that she did because the things was unexplainable it was just you you hear it's tough to explain without spoiling stuff but it was a really good book eerie but also kind of like wow they found each other against all odds or like they found each other against all odds and they found each other even in every way like i <laughs> can't really explain it but it was really really good but definitely not what i was expecting at all so wow a lot of twists and turns and a lot of unexpected things and a lot of like what the fuck 
moments like a lot of moments like that throughout this book yeah that was it for this reading vlog i think i'm gonna end it here i've read two books this reading vlog and i enjoy them both so i think it's been a good reading vlog but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in one of my next videos bye